Good morning, fr family, friends, and fellow sojourners. The last video that um, I did, the last vlog I did, was to tell you about our first Christmas together. Well, I'm going to fast forward 25 years and tell you about what we did for our 25th wedding anniversary. So in April um, in 1997, um, we were going to fly from Colorado Springs to um, Reno, Nevada, so that we could go down to Carson City and renew our wedding vows. Um, as I told you, when we got married, it was basically a, an elopement because um, we weren't planning on getting married, we just did. So we wanted family, we wanted as many people as we could get um, there to celebrate with us. So our daughter, who had a three-year-old son at the time, was going, going to fly with us. Unfortunately, they were the only family members that could go. But um, when we woke up <clears throat> that April morning, we found that it had snowed all night long and it was a lot of snow. And we were worried about how we were going to get on the west side of town to pick up our daughter so she, we, she could fly with us. So my husband um, called a friend, a firefighter friend, who picked her up and, and our grandson and drove them to the airport. And we got to the airport and the roads were terrible. So we were running late anyway, but when we got there, there were just hordes and hordes of people, lines of people, disgruntled people that had their baggage. And you could tell that they were upset because lots of uh, flights had been canceled. And um, when we walked in, I just told uh, my family, we're not going to make it out of here. There's no way. We're not going to be able to stand in line and get through all these people and make our flight in time on time. But out of nowhere, this man, why he singled us, I for a long, long time, almost 50 years, I wondered how that all happened. But I think after discussing this story with my husband, um, we figured out what might have been uh, the answer to this. But this man came up and he said, where are you headed? And we said, we're flying to Reno. Um, and he said, follow me. Now, we're walking past all these people, and he took us straight to the plane. We board, boarded the plane and um, got our, our overnights in our little, in the little compartments, sat down, got our seat belts in, and, and on, on the way, my husband said, um, there's no way we're going to make our flight on time, and he said, oh, yeah. You're gonna make your flight. He said, I've got their paychecks in my pocket. He says, they're not leaving anywhere without those paychecks. So um, <clears throat> when we sat down and before takeoff, the pilot said, I just wanna congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Gary Hoskins. Uh, they're on this flight and they're headed to uh, Reno, Nevada to celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. And there was a lot of uh, applause and congratulations and that kind of thing. And I thought, well, that was sweet. And then I got to thinking that our uh, neighbor who lived across the street from us was a, an air traffic controller at the airport. And he had given the pilot a heads up about, um, you know, that we were th there and boarded and that uh, that's why we were on the plane. So... That explained that situation. And then we uh, flew to Reno. We got a rental car, drove down to uh, Carson City, and we had a very special ceremony with our um, family members that lived in, in uh, Carson City, including Gary's mother, who was not um, was not there for our wedding. She was re refused to stay up till the wee hours of morning to watch her youngest child get married. And um, she was there, and uh, some of Gary's uh, a niece and, and nephew, uh, great great niece, no, great nephew, and his his uh, sister and her husband uh, were there. And um, it was just very, very sweet and special. So we did renew our vows. And um, we when we flew back, it, there was a lot of turbulence. And... I mean, it was scary because they said you had to remain seated, everybody had to be buckled in, and we kept, the plane kept dropping uh, suddenly, and our three-year-old grandson was just terrified. And he cried out <laughs> for everybody, including God, to hear, we're all going to die, he screamed, and it 
just broke my heart because he was so scared, bless his heart. But we did arrive safely. And do you know that when we left uh, for our trip to Carson's or to Reno, we were the only flight that left that day. Now, only God could have orchestrated that for us. However, that man that I thought was an angel that came out of nowhere, he must have had, he must have been looking for us because Bob Venur, our neighbor, that was the air traffic controller, must have have seen us frantically uh, searching and, and just, you know, beside ourselves. And he must have told that this person, be on the, the lookout for my friends. They're trying to make this flight. Um, can you make it happen for me? He's the only reason, unless it was a guardian angel, and I'm not discounting that at all. And Bob hasn't lived in our neighborhood for many, many years, and there's no way for me to get a hold of him. But thank you, Bob Venor. Thank you, Jay Guerrero, for picking our daughter up. Thank you for making it happen. And thank you, Lord, for blessing us in such a very special way. God bless you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this story. You take care now. Bye-bye.